Shall we get started? Sure. Okay. So, um, we are using die number two from the nine inch cube and die number five from the nine inch cube. So let's start with die number two. We need eight patches of the ebony. And so I always like to do this when I use AccuQuilt, measure my die. So it lets me know what size of a strip that I need. And I'm gonna cut that three and a quarter. And make sure I'm looking at my ruler the right way. And I'm not. Yep, it's still three and a quarter. <laughs> Kathy said she has a hard time throwing anything away. I, so. You know, I get it. I mean, fabric is, you know, good fabric is, um, you know, you get to choose between hot dogs and steak for dinner, but... I'd rather buy fabric, so don't know about you, but. <laughs> and you like stuff to choose from, right? Right. I mean, you want a good variety, depending yep. on which project you're working on. Well, and, you know, this is one of those nights we're having a fabric sale. Um, somebody told me a long time ago, buy the best fabric you can afford. And when I first started quilting, I could only afford sale fabric. So that's what I bought. Move you started building your stash though right i did so. now i'm trying to sew it all out so what i just did was squared up because i want my um salvage to be are we leaning leaning tower of pizza here so okay so i'm gonna cut this so what i just did is i used the salvage to square up this edge and so i'm gonna cut this three and a quarter And we need eight patches of this square. So I can only cut six at a time. And if you look, I'll just put it out here. I'm actually avoiding the salvage here with the edge of my fabric. So I'm lining it up a little bit off the edge right there. And so I'm just going to go four. Can I get two? Not quite. So I'm only going to go four on this pass. Yeah, the large cookie select mat. If you've got a good space, I mean, this is a great mat. I have this mat at home. It's nice. So there's three boats. So there's four. I need... You actually have to order these special, though. We do, and they're on back order right now, along with... A lot of quilts are select stuff, so on back order. So much stuff is just, you know, the Suez Canal fiasco. <laughs> yeah, I was watching those barges, and I said to Steve, I wonder how many of those are ours. Which one has fabric? Which one has sewing machines? <laughs> so, yeah, that was pretty wild. It is pretty wild, isn't it? We all take that for granted. You do. You just don't think about it, I think, right? I mean, more than anything. I need to do some planning here. So I need... I'm going to cut the other way here. Three and a half. Because I have enough for two pieces here, and I need four more. So That's, that would be... You do need a table that wide. How, how big is that mat? Isn't that the 30... It is... 36 by... 36 by 60. 36 by 60. And so I'm going to fold this one over just like that. We also have a wonderful cabinet that it will fit on top of without any okay. right, overage. Some layer like that. We have two. No, just one. Marilyn has that cabinet. <laughs> Kathy, I think, would rather buy fabric as well. Don't plan for any lobster at her house. <laughs> hey, we have priorities, and I'm in alignment with yours. Okay, and then we need four patches of the die number five. So that's just two little layers right here, and then we'll have some leftover. Okay. 
And there are my four patches already dog-eared. Love it, love it. And then this one, the shell pink, we need four patches of this dye and four patches of the other one. So again, I'm just going to make sure that this is squared up. And I'm using my salvage because it's along the straight grain. And so to do that, I just line up the bottom down here with one of the marks on the ruler. And it's pretty straight, straighter than the black was. Hello from Topeka. I got the name. Neighbor. And again, this one was three and a quarter. And we only need four patches. So comment and let us know if you have AccuQuilt or you use AccuQuilt. You might be in for some rain, you know, the old thing. I think it was. some May flowers with some rain, so. I think it's going to rain. Yeah, we got some rain on the forecast. It always gets busy in the store when it rains. <clears throat> I think people want to come in and see all the bright fabrics and enjoy it. Brighten the day. Brighten their day. And then we need four patches, so we just need a little piece. And I'm not even going to rotary cut it. I'm just going to use a ruler. I'm just going to cut it off like that. Lay it over. And there we have our blocks completely cut out. Oh, the colors look really good. Yeah. I love color. I like Amish quilts because the colors are so vibrant against the black background. Okay, I am going to lay this one out because it just helps me figure out how to sew it together. I think we're going to sew this in four patches. I got mine a long time ago and it was before they had the cube system. And it was a little bit confusing to me because I was like, well, I want to make this quilt out of this magazine. And there was no way to tell which dye to use. So you almost had to have a PhD. But with the cube system, you can just recreate the block. If you um, wanted to shop online with us too, the code is QHQACC and you would just enter that. So this definitely works as four patches. I'm going to start by sewing all of the triangles together. And again I'm using the Juki TL 2010 with the Aerofill 2615. It's my favorite color thread for piecing because it just disappears. So I've relayed out Sounds my four healthy. patches here. I've already pieced these two here. And so I'm going to piece, start piecing these triangles. I do them one at a time because when I don't, I get them mixed up and then I have pieces going the wrong way. And then we got to go find that electric seam ripper thing. Yeah, the other one hasn't come in yet. Okay, these need to be this way. And then again, I'm going to lay these out so that I get these corners going the right way. You could almost make a fabric checkerboard out of that with the four patches. I really like this block. It looks completely different mm -hmm. in the quilt. Because you, I was looking when I, when I was making the pattern today. And the pattern is out there. And I do know that there it does work because it already has been downloaded. Um, when I was making it, I pulled up this block and I was like, no, this is the wrong block. This is not what the block looks like because it looks so much different in the quilt. 
and I'm pressing all of my seams towards the the dark side. Robert, what is this tool? Uh, multi finger pressure tool. Well, that was no fun. <laughs> What's That's the not other right. name? <laughs> What's the popular name around here? It a doohickey. There you go. I don't know if they can see it or not, but that is an awesome tool. Multifunctional. Multifunction finger presser tool. I think I have two of them at home, one at each machine. You, you gotta have extras because you never know. Well, if I can't find one, hopefully I'll find the other. <laughs> Oops, wrong way. Just watching my seams here so that I'm pressing in the Hi, right Jane. direction. And there it is. Whoa, it looks like the block. We're doing good. See, I almost did it. Woo! Almost done. See, that block goes together quick. What was that? Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. 20 minutes, maybe? Yeah, 20 minutes ish. Okay, let's go to the iron. Oh boy! Oh my gosh! Blow off some out. steam. Perfect. perfect! Yay! I love it when they turn out perfect. <laughs> they almost all do, but sometimes, and it's usually me. They don't. Looks good. Tell me what you think. All right, so this is block 20, and week. it is, well, it's week 20, <laughs> block 4B. 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 Row 4, 4B. column B. 4B. 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 